Hello, I'm Britt from Santa's Finds and welcome to my video. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my video. I am, once again, house slash cat sitting, this time for my parents. My parents still live in the house that I grew up in, so they've lived here I don't know, over 25 years at this point. So I know the house super well, very comfortable here. Of course, not as comfortable as I used to be because I haven't lived here for several, several years. Oof. My parents have one cat at the moment, Olive, and she is, well, I remember when she was born in 2003. So she's old in terms of cats. I don't know what that would be, 17, eight, she says 18, she says she's 18. She's also very vocal. So I thought I'd show you around a little bit. Great, so we're in the kitchen, obviously. Um, the cabinets were completely built by my father. He is a woodworker and yeah, an amazing job he did in, in here. This was my childhood cat Wolverine. May his soul rest in peace, but we were buddies. He was the best. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Um, carpet's pink. Totally forgot about that. But yeah, I'm just gonna be hanging out here. Um, I got some school pictures. Where's Olive? There's Olive. Hey, little girl. Remember when you were just a little thing? She was the runt of the litter. Now she's the last one standing, so. We love you. She's the reason I'm here. My parents, so my parents are on like a camping cottage getaway this weekend. Yeah, their wedding anniversary was in May and they rarely do anything, just the two of them. I mean, they live together, just the two of them. So they they do a lot, just the two of them. But I mean, like, vacation, they never get away, just the two of them. So it's super exciting that they were able to get the time off of work and spend the weekend glamping, essentially. But um, really happy for them and happy I could help them out and make this weekend possible for them. We love books. This is my childhood bedroom. Of course, it did not look like this when I lived in here. The walls were purple. The furniture was different pretty much, except for this bookshelf is built by my dad. And that's kind of <laughs> part of the room now. And this like closet thing is pretty much the only thing that's still the same. My furniture was painted neon green and this mirror was not in here. And this was my brother's room which is kind of storage at this point, but again, my dad built these closet cabinets, so super, super awesome, super handy. Oh wait, you gotta see this. This is the Marvel Universe. I don't even know when my dad got this. My brother took a pen and I don't know if you can see any of it, but he had drawn on it. Oh my God, their grandfather clock. Do you mind? Okay. So as I was saying, my brother had taken a pen, you can kind of see it like here, and uh, drawn on it because he was so inspired by the art and superheroes. But yeah, this is a super cool piece. But yeah, this is, I can't even get the whole thing in the shot. Let me back up. Yeah, super cool. And then over here, they have more cool art. It's Wacky Pack Cards. Shout out to Wacky Pack Cards. Is anyone old enough to remember these? Basically satirical branding in trading card format. Of course, this is just kind of like a collection of them. So yeah, my mom really likes Wacky Packs. Babe! I'm gonna be spending the weekend here, so I, it is, Oh my god, I didn't even tell you what day it is. It is Friday, June 4th, I think, and it is about 5 p.m. So I'm staying until Sunday around noon, so it'll be a really brief time here, but I'll be here all by myself, away from my kitties, away from my babe, but it'll be fun. It'll be, it'll be nice. 
Just gonna have some alone time, read, work on stuff. So long. See you later. Hello, it is about 15 minutes later, so I did not go very far, but I'm planning to make a welcome home sign for my parents, and I know I just got here, but I don't feel like doing any of the things that I brought. Like, I don't really feel like reading right now. I don't really feel like writing or editing or whatever else. There's just all a lot of traffic that goes by this house. I do not remember this much traffic. <sighs> kind of helps a little bit um so I have some crayons this is what I found it's got the sharpener in the back 96 crayons I don't know what to do for color scheme what should I do for color scheme I was thinking about rainbow I think I will do rainbow we'll see how it turns out welcome home and then this is gonna be a picture of olive it's got like a billion shades of purple and pink, but I don't see any red. Oh wait, maybe this is, oh, it's like brick red? Brick red! Exactly that! Okay, so W-E-L-C-O-M-E. W-E, okay. What font? What font should I use? It's gonna be block letters. It's gonna be block letters. Also, I hold things when I write really weird. I know this. I know most people write like this. I write like this. But when I use my left hand, I do it the normal way. Do you want to see me use my left hand? All right, I'm going to do the E with my left hand. W-E-L-C-O-M-E. -E. All right, it's going to have to be, <laughs> this is going to be bad. It's crooked. She is crooked. No, no. Slanted. But that's okay. Okay, so the E was left-handed. Not too shabby. I'm gonna turn off the camera, work on this some more, and I'll get back in touch with you, huh? This is a portrait of my brother when he was a little kid, and a portrait of me when I was a little kid. I did these in high school. I'm pretty proud of them. Coolest tissue box ever. The Great Gatsby, Vanity Fair, and the Scarlet Letter. Oop. But. <laughs> New box. And a cute picture of my family. Oh, I didn't see you there. Just kidding. Who do I think I am? A kid's show from the early 2000s? Hello, today is Saturday. It is June 5th and it is about 2 p.m. Not quite 2 p.m. yet, but you don't need to know that because it doesn't matter. What am I doing? I am in my childhood bedroom. This is my Raggedy Ann doll. This is pretty much the only doll with red hair that I had as a kid, so obviously my favorite. This dress is actually made from like Raggedy Ann 
fabric and I think my grandma made this dress. My grandma sews and does quilts. I actually think she did this quilt. Raggedy Ann! It's probably also why I liked Annie. The, the musical Annie was my favorite movie when I was a kid. Too much nostalgia! Yesterday evening I went outside and sat in the grass for a little while and just walked around barefoot, which I used to do all the time as a kid is just run around the yard barefoot. I don't really do that much anymore because I'm an adult and I don't have my own yard. So it's really amazing to just put your bare feet on the earth, on grass and dirt. I do believe that being in contact with nature is good for the body, good for the soul, and I miss it. So I cannot wait to have my own yard one day. This morning I more or less, you know, ate breakfast while watching booktube, including Annie who gave me a lovely shout out in her 1k Q&A video. If you like my channel, you should subscribe to Annie because we have a lot in common. She's got short hair, she's very smiley, very friendly and pleasant. I love her reading taste. She reads a lot of different kinds of books like literary fiction, historical fiction, sci-fi, non-fiction, middle grade. She reads a wide variety of books as well, so I highly recommend subscribing to her channel. The books that I brought with me this weekend I failed to mention it all, and I call myself a booktube channel. The books that I brought to read are Just Kids by Patti Smith, but also Pieces by Helen Oyemi. No, by Helen Oyemi. Funny story about Pieces. Two short, brief videos ago, I said that I wasn't trying to go to the library this month so that I could focus on catching up with my physical TBR, and then the day after I posted that, I went to the library and I checked out this book and I'm a huge hypocrite and a failure. No, I'm just kidding. And it was on the lucky day shelf and I was like, oh, I really like the cover. And I was just kind of looking at it and on the inner flap, it says that the characters are aboard a locomotive called the lucky day. And I just was like, this is so funny that there's a train in here called the lucky day and it's on the lucky day shelf at my library. If you don't know what the lucky day shelf is at a library, I don't know if this is something that other libraries do too, but basically there are books that are in a certain collection that are typically new releases and you can only check them out for seven days. You cannot renew them and if you are late with them, it's a 50 cent fine per day. So typically book fines are 10 cents a day, but these ones I guess are in like higher demand or they're on loan from some other system or whatever. So it's kind of like, if you check it out, you gotta read it. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta be snappy with it. I started reading that. I think I'm on page like 90 of it and I would like to finish it this weekend so I can return to the library and proceed with my <laughs> TBR that I uploaded the video for. I also plan on doing a book review of Ace this uh, weekend. Yeah, I just thought I'd check in and say, hey, what's going on? And let you know what I'm doing. Probably also going to work more on the welcome home sign. I also realized that vlogging is a lot like having an imaginary friend, except that I show to the world that I have pretended to be conversing with this imaginary friend. I'm totally alone this weekend in my childhood house, which is weird, I want to say. It's weird. I'm having a lot of small memories come flooding back to me that I forgot. The freaking grandfather clock. I could not have a grandfather clock in my house. That's annoying. <laughs> Go off, grandfather clock. I'm having a lot of random memories come back, like old habits or traditions that aren't really substantial or memorable in and of themselves, but just because I'm back here and now I do things differently on my own, it's like, oh, that's right, we used to do things like this, it's so funny to remember that, I hadn't thought about that for years. And I don't think I've ever been here an entire weekend by myself, like, even growing up. This is a very rural town, um, so there's not much to do. But definitely weird to be back here experiencing a lot of memories and here talking to myself as though I were talking to an imaginary guest in my house, which is my camera, and revealing that I'm doing that to the entire internet for your entertainment. I hope you enjoy! Guess what I just found? So rude! That clock always interrupts me! I just filmed the Ace Review. Report. Look what I'm reading now.
it is about 9 p.m. I know the lighting here is probably no good, but I won't be here for very long though. Olive just ate dinner. She's a happy camper. She's ready to go back to sleep. It's pretty much all she does is sleep. She's right here right now, you can hear her. That's her. <laughs> I went outside and read my book for about an hour on a blanket outside. The ground was kind of damp, so. Uh, fortunately, I have this like waterproof outdoor blanket that I keep in my car and it like folds up and zips up into a bag, which is really cool. I laid out on that for a while, read for an hour, and then I was just about to come inside at like 8 p.m. when I saw a rabbit hop out from behind the bushes and I was just like so excited to see a rabbit like that close to me that I just like took a couple videos of it hopping by me and then it was just chilling in our yard for a long time. So I just stayed there because I didn't want to get up and like startle the rabbit because it looks so peaceful eating the grass, and then another rabbit came out and was eating as well, and then I saw a little baby bunny hopping. So I didn't get any videos of the baby bunny because it would not have shown up on my phone camera. Uh, it would have just been like a little light brown blur of a speck. I just sat there and watched the birds and the bunnies eat the grass for a while, for about 30 minutes, and then I very quietly kind of gather my things and like came back inside. But I thought I would check in and talk a little bit about pieces by Helen Oyeyemi. This is really cool. I'm not sure how it's gonna end. I feel like it could end in a really annoying way or a really awesome way. I'm really hoping it ends in an awesome way because I'm enjoying it so far. It's mysterious. We do not know why they are on this lucky day train. Well, we know why, but like, there are coincidences happening. And funny enough, so the narrator of this book's name is Otto, but I just assumed that Otto was a female because the author is female, but I just realized like a hundred pages in that Otto is a man. So, so I'm a fool. They're on the train and it's kind of dreamlike, which is cool and I'm digging it and I really like the writing. It's like conversational yet clever and engaging so the writing's really good there are a lot of characters though and oh my god <laughs> this I, i'm relying on this to keep track of everybody i'm on page 135 so just a little bit more than halfway through and i can't wait to finish this there's not much to do around here other than watch cable tv i will see you tomorrow when is my last day here um the time has gone by really quickly i'm enjoying myself but yeah it's gone very quickly <laughs>
fell asleep. I should shut up. Screaming green! Screaming green! And my sugar. Breakfast is served. It's like an ode to Cool Ranch Doritos. Also, there are a billion shades of blue and they literally all look the same. Okay, but what if I just left it like this? Hello, today is Sunday. It is 12 p.m. and I finished my welcome home sign. I'm going to show you the sign now and leave a comment with which letter is your favorite. You're so pretty. Good girl. Anyway. So the theme was rainbow. This one, I did it as two hearts and then I did alternating colors of the pattern surrounding the heart. This one's like striped. I really like how this one turned out. Again, I don't know how well you can see these on the footage, but let me know which letter is your favorite. Oh, it looks so cute. I'm gonna go hang it up in the kitchen now. Oh, she's got something to say to us today. Parents have this sign above their entertainment center that says, From little seeds, mighty trees grow. And this sign really bothers me because it's worded really strange. It was such a missed opportunity to rhyme the E noise in seeds and trees by writing, From little seeds grow mighty trees. You know what I mean? And I'm going to tape this on top of their sign and see if they notice that I changed it. My mom tends to notice little details, so I'm inclined to say she will notice it in a couple days. Okay, my arm got really tired holding that. So I've just been cleaning up, uh, trying to make the place look like it did when I got here and clean up after myself. Uh, they're coming home, I think, later this afternoon or evening, but... I don't really need to stay here to receive them, but <laughs> I'm just gonna put this up, put the sign up, I'll show you it before I leave, and then I'll see you back in my apartment. There she blows, final product. Spent all weekend working on it. <laughs> And then at the very end, I added this little meow speech bubble because I know she's gonna be saying that to them when they walk in the door. <laughs> Hello, today is Tuesday, June 8th. It is about 3.30 p.m. and I have lots of things to say. I got back home on Sunday, which is when I last checked up on you, and then I kind of took a break from vlogging on Sunday evening and Monday, but I have lots of updates, so this is exciting. The first thing I'll start with is that I received Variations on the Body by Maria Ospina from Coffee House Press in the mail. This is an advanced reader review copy and I am so excited because this is the first ARC slash first review copy that I've ever received from a publisher, so I am super grateful to have this. Thank you, Coffee House Press. This is basically a short story collection by Maria Ospina, translated by Heather Cleary, and I believe that most of this takes place in Colombia and has to do with like the female body and each story kind of relates to the female body in different ways. And I was reading a little bit of the introduction by the translator and I think it primarily uh, takes place during like the early 2000s. Very excited to read this. It comes out on July 6th, so yeah, I'm gonna get to this. Also, I got the audiobook for Just Kids on Libby, which is narrated by Patti Smith, which is really cool. So I listened to about 4% of that last night, 
and I think I caught up to where I was in the book because I had started like the first 12 pages a long time ago. <laughs> I also finished Pieces by Helen Oyeyemi today. Hmm, very interesting. I really enjoyed reading this. I think the ending was a little bit less conclusive than I wanted it to be, but it was still really cool. It felt very dreamlike. It was kind of like a mystery that doesn't necessarily get solved. I think if I reread this, things would kind of click more for me. I really like the writing style in this book. I think it was very sort of poetic, yet conversational and clever, yet kind of joyous. At the same time, it's weird. It was really refreshing to read this. Tons of character names though. I had to keep a very, a uh, very messy page where I jotted down all the different character names that got introduced. I'm glad I read it though. It was quite a trip. I had no idea what a mongoose was before I read this. It's kind of like a ferret type thing. I also wanted to point out a book that I started, another one from the library, but this one's a graphic novel so it's super short, called Feelings, A Story in Seasons by Manji Thop. Not sure if I said that right. I'm sitting on a creaky spot on the floor. I've only read half of it so far, but it's a very quick read and the illustrations are beautiful. I'm just gonna kind of flip through it for you. I don't know how well you can see this. I'm trying not to lose my bookmark, but uh, it's basically, oh, so gorgeous. It's basically like the narrator is describing how their moods kind of change each season. How they feel is influenced by the weather and the climate and it's really cool. I'm loving the illustrations. Also wanted to show you this cute little hat I got to wear this summer. Bucket hat summer. Also my mother noticed the sign that I left for her already. I was facetiming my parents yesterday and she was like, oh yeah we saw the sign that you left and I was like, well, that was quick, but I'm not surprised. I'm just going to sign off on this vlog and get it all edited. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave me a comment and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye. See ya.